<clears throat> oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Man, that Howdy ho, neighbors. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome. Episode 93 of The Nooner, I am your host, David Bradley. We're going to be talking about something near and dear to my heart today, which is how to have a kick-ass day. I'll just say thank you in advance for the favors, the restreams, the tweets, all of that. So we're enjoying some new funky music as we kick off episode 93 of The Nooner. I'm your host, David Bradley. What is The Nooner? If you're a first-time joiner, if you're watching this on YouTube, you just stumbled on the video because uh, you happen to find it every weekday, Monday through Friday. I'm popping in on Meerkat Live. I'm going to drop a noontime nugget about either sales or business or life. Noontime nuggets about sales, business, or life. Why? Well, at noon, here on the West Coast at least, that means if you're catching this on the East Coast and you're live, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You maybe had some motivation this morning, but it's gone. Not coming back. So you need something, right? You need fuel for your body. I'm going to give you some fuel for your brain. It's a little piece of data, a little nugget, a little something. Just a little bit to get you through into the rest of your day. And maybe that'll fuel you in for the rest of your week, your month, your year. And maybe that'll fuel you in for the rest of your week, your month, your year. However it does, I'm willing to help. So let me introduce myself to you while this music plays out. Again, my name is David Bradley. I am your host. Uh, this is The Nooner. Uh, three things about me you want to know. Number one, I'm a sales and marketing manager with Grant Cardone. Uh, I've been working with Grant Cardone for the last five years. It'll be five years in March. Um, Grant Cardone is a New York Times bestselling author, real estate mogul, and uh, all-around man of the world. Best-selling author, by the way, and he's also an expert in sales and success. He's been studying sales and success for 30 years. He knows a thing or two about it. What we do in our company, Cardone Training Technologies, is we literally help companies and businesses expand, usually to the tune of 15 to 30 percent, simply by helping them find and then handle missed opportunities. So if you take a look at where your business is at right now, you're like, hey, what's my reality? This is where I'm at. Where would you like to be? What's the opportunity for you? It's, well, it's right over here, okay? We're going to help you close that gap, okay? If you want to get a little bit more on that, feel free to reach out to me. Again, I'm David Bradley. Uh, phone number 310-777-0352. That number rings right at my desk. If you can't get me there, though, uh, shoot an email at me. David at GrantCardone.com. Let me know where you're at and where you want to go, and I'll, I'll give you some tools and some ideas to help you get there. 75% of what we do is 100% free. Uh, it'll cost you nothing to talk to me. Two other things on me. I'm the author of a book called How to Stop Smoking Without Killing Anyone. I smoked cigarettes for uh, just over 15 years. Couldn't quit. Tried many times. Failed miserably every single time I tried to quit. Uh, but then I found a way to stop. Mm -hmm. There is a difference between stopping and quitting. And I detail that in my book, How to Stop Smoking Without Killing Anyone. You can do it. I did it. You can do it. That book will show you how. Go to stopdon'tquit.com uh, or search How to Stop Smoking Without Killing Anyone Up on Amazon. You can get it on Amazon as a book. You can get it for the Kindle. It'll help. And not just for smoking. If you got another habit you need to kick, that'll do it too. Uh, third thing on me, I'm the founder of a hashtag. It's called Rich Man's Gym. Rich Man's Gym is about home-based strength and conditioning for body, mind, and spirit. I do not believe you need to go to the gym to get in the best shape of your life. That's something you can do from home, in the garage, the backyard, the living room local park, stairs down by the beach, wherever you can hang a set of Olympic rings, wherever you can haul a kettlebell or a couple of dumbbells, or just move freely in the open air, that is your rich man's gym. So today, what, what are we going to talk about? We are talking about how to have a kick-ass day. Now, if you're looking at the title, how to have kick-ass days, okay, that's what we're talking about, days, not one day, days, meaning each one flows together, okay? Let me make that go away real quick. One second. Now, this ASS for kick ass stands for two things. Notice the S's are dollar signs. 
Okay, so again, this is the nooner. We're talking about sales, business, and life. Okay, if you want to be successful in sales, you got to make some money. You want to be successful in business, you got to make some money. You want to be successful in life? Cash helps. I'm not saying it's the only way to be successful. You got a lot of people out there that didn't have a lot of money that were highly, 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 highly successful. Mahatma Gandhi, not a lot of money. Chose a life of poverty to be successful. Okay, Jesus is another good example of that. Very successful guy. Uh, didn't have a lot of bread. Actually, sorry, no pun intended. Um, who else? Who can you think of? Didn't have a lot of money that was successful. But think about this, though. What did they know how to do? They knew how to control money. So, either way, money is an important part of success, no matter how you lay it out. Okay, Mother Teresa, right? Not a lot of money, but she knew how to control money to bring money in so she could do what she needed to get done. Okay, Greenpeace, nonprofit, right? But they know how to control money so they can get done what they need to get done. Okay, so we're going to be looking, and what does the A stand for, though? So you got the A, and then you got two dollar signs. So we know the dollar signs stand for money. The A stands for attitude. So the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to define that word, because on the Nooner, we look up words. We understand what we're talking about. That's very, very important to understand the words, the meaning, where it came from. Very big on, uh, for me at least, knowing what I'm talking about. And a lot of times there's words out there that maybe you learn something new when you really dig into the definition. Maybe you get a deeper understanding of that. Okay, so attitude. It's a noun. A settled way of thinking or feeling. A settled, okay, so when something settles, like this is it, okay. A settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something, typically one that is reflected in a person's behavior. Okay, so I'll just say that again. A settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something, typically one way of thinking, typically a way of thinking that is reflected in a person's behavior. Okay, but the other definition of attitude is a position of the body proper. Okay, so in ballet, for example, in dance, you take an attitude. You have an attitude. It's, just, it's, it's a way of holding yourself and carrying yourself. Okay, so have that, understand that as you go into this and understanding that in order to be successful every day, you need the right attitude and you want to have a kick-ass day, you need the right attitude to have a kick-ass day, okay? So money, you want it to flow. Does that make sense? So in order to get money to flow, you need the right attitude. So, four things. Now, if you're taking notes, this you, you want to write down these four things, and there's a bonus. So, technically five. First, remember, we're looking to have kick-ass days. Okay, so, but I'm going to break this down. A kick-ass days, build. So, you just got to start with one. So, here's how to have a kick-ass day. And then you repeat that behavior over and over and over, and then you'll have kick-ass days. Got it? Okay. Number one, decide. I cannot tell you, stress enough, the importance of decision. In anything you want in life, in anything you do, whether that's being a more successful salesperson, whether it's closing a deal to not smoking anymore, to working out, to having a better relationship with anybody, wife, spouse, father, mother, husband, daughter, sister, brother, cousin, higher power. It's, a, it's It all starts with a decision. Do not. So when you decide to have a kick-ass day, you cannot go into your day. Uh, let's just see what happens. You can't do that. You can't wing it. You can't just hope. You need to make a decision to have a kick-ass day. It's a real decision. It's real. A lot of people say, hey, I made a decision to have a kick-ass day, but it didn't quite work out. No, no, no. 
you didn't make you weren't committed to your decision. And we'll get to commitment in a second. But you got to start with a decision that no matter what happens now, I'm having a kick-ass day. Okay. So one way to do that. This is a habit because it's an attitude. It's a mindset. Okay. Now I'm not saying I've perfected this yet either. I'm just sharing with you some things that I try and work on every single day. Okay. One thing that will help with you getting this, making this decision every single day is you want to get up early. Wake up early. Okay. And, and early for you, you know what I mean when I say wake up early. You want to set your alarm for a time that gets you the appropriate amount of sleep, but at the same time, it's just a little early to where you literally have to override your brain saying, hit the snooze button. Another five minutes. Does that make sense? Like, so like if you're, if you normally get up to go to work at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m., you get up and you start your day at 6 or 7, okay? I'm going to challenge you to get up 15 minutes before your designated time, whatever time that is. Start there, okay? Get up early. Override the urge to sleep in another five minutes. Override hitting the snooze alarm. Why? In case you're wondering. 15 minutes less sleep is not going to make or break your day, number one. Two. The ability to override an urge, any urge, expands your humanity. It expands on your ability to want something and to deny it for something greater. Wake up early. This builds self-discipline. A bunch of people just dropped off. I ain't getting up early. I'm kicking. I, you know. <laughs> a bunch of people just dropped off the stream. That's hysterical. <laughs> good. For those of you that are still here, good for you. So that builds self-discipline. Okay? And that's a habit. So the first thing to having a kick-ass day is to make the decision to have a kick-ass day. Okay? And then you start by getting up early because that builds discipline and self-control. Number two, commit. You got to commit to having a kick-ass day. You've made the decision, now you got to commit to it. So that no matter what happens today, today's kicking ass. Okay? So, there's a few things you can start, you can do when you wake up and you make that decision. Is you want to start expecting immediately great things to happen today. Expect great things. And then as you go into your day, start looking for them. But here's what you're going to be looking for. This is not some law of, attraction, law of attraction stuff, okay? You can attract things into your life, but the only thing I believe you truly attract is opportunity. Get it? So, back to the dictionary. Opportunity. Here's the technical definition. A set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. Okay? Now, there's this old adage about what opportunity is. It's when preparation, success is when preparation meets opportunity. So, are you prepared when the opportunity arises? You can attract the opportunity. I truly believe that. You put the energy out there and the opportunity, it'll show right up. But if you're not aware of it, if you're not looking for it, you're, you're going to miss it. you go right on by. Okay? So remember, a set of circumstances that makes it possible, possible to do something, okay? So start looking for your kick-ass day to show up. Look for the opportunities to have that kick-ass day. If you're in sales, when you show up to work today, it's, it, what does Grant say? Who's got my money? Okay, you're looking for opportunity. Third thing. If the fit hits the shan, if it all goes wrong, if it all collapses for you and you, and you feel like instead of you having a kick-ass day, you're getting your ass kicked day, okay? That is a matter of perception. Problems are opportunity. All curses are blessings in disguise. All curses are blessings in disguise. 
opportunity problems, excuse me, problems or opportunities. Treat every problem like an opportunity. Okay? Because you've already you've made the commitment. You've decided I'm having a kick ass day. You've made the commitment to, so no matter what goes down, it's an opportunity. Got it? Okay? So we've made the decision. We've committed to it. Three. When you're out there looking for this opportunity, the best perspective I can give you that I can think of, and actually a, a, a perspective that is not, it's not new to me. Let me just tell you that. I've had this for a while, but I've never been able to articulate it in the way that I'm about to. And I want to give some real credit and props to Robert Duggan, who articulated this perfectly and beautifully. So there's a, a couple interviews that, that Mr. Duggan, who's a billionaire, by the way, uh, has done with Grant Cardone about how he became successful, how he got to where he's at. And one of the things that I've heard him say a couple times that has resonated with me like a punch in the face is make a difference for the better. So as you go into your day and you're out looking for this opportunity, it should be literally about how can I make a difference for the better in somebody's life This will help you in sales, this will help you in business, and this will help you in life in general. If you are doing something every single day looking for a way to make a difference in another person's life for the better, this, this is the thing that turns on the money spigot. One of the things, I love what he said, uh, you can make it, I can make a difference in somebody's life. Somebody rear ends me on a freeway, okay? They just made a difference in my life, <laughs> right? But not for the better, right? So that's number three. Make a difference for the better. We've made a decision to have a kick-ass day. We've committed to having a kick-ass day. And now we're going to do something, somewhere. We're not finishing our day until we've made a difference for the better in somebody's life. Hey, Lydia, what's going on? Thank you for the favor and the restream. Appreciate you being here. Fourth thing is we want to do all of this with confidence. Knowing full well that we're doing the right thing. We've decided to have a good day. We've committed to having a good day. We're doing everything we can to make a difference in somebody else's life for the better today. Okay, We're doing it with confidence. Now, that's another thing I got from Mr. Duggan. Confidence, when you look up that word, with trust. con fitty With trust. Confidence. Okay? But confidence in what? So again, Nooner, sales business life. Okay? Confidence in you. That ultimately, you're good human. You're good people. Okay? Confidence in your company. What we're doing we're doing, we, as a company, we're making a difference for the better. I know that in Cardone Training Technologies, that's what we do every single day. We make a difference for the better. Grant makes a difference for the better. His content, his books, his material makes a difference for the better. So in your business, your career, your life, what do you do? How are you making, are you confident in that? Can you say with full certainty, my product, my company, my organization, we're out there. We make a difference for the better. Can you say that with full confidence? If not, it's we need to go back to attitude. Figure it out, okay? The thing about that, though, is trust and confidence. How do you get it? It's not something you can write on a pillow and hug. It's not something you can um, mantra into reality. Trust confidence in yourself, in your product, in your company, and what you do is earned. It's built brick by brick, layer by layer, action by action, behavior by behavior. And that's why in the very beginning when I talked about deciding to have a kick-ass day and suggest that you get up early every single morning to override the urge to hit the snooze button, to jump out of bed right away, Start your day immediately when the alarm goes off and set that alarm 15 minutes earlier than what you think you should be doing, right? 
Just that exercise builds confidence. How many Americans hit the snooze button? How many average people are out there just getting by? That are, and they're happy about it. They're satisfied. Okay? That's not you. Don't do it. Train yourself out of it. You can totally train yourself out of it. And you can earn that confidence. Read 50 books this year. That will earn you confidence. Work out every single day. Movement. Do something. Every single day. These are the things that you can do to literally earn confidence in you. Then you have to earn confidence in your company and your product by knowing it like you know your own name. But you have to do all of these things with confidence every single day. And that's how we have kick-ass days, by having a kick-ass day. Five, last thing, is you got to play full out. Now, I'm borrowing that phrase uh, from Tony Robbins. Hope that's okay. I heard him mention it in a, in a workshop or something I was listening to, but I like the, the, the phrase of that, right? And I'm a big UFC fan. If there's one thing, you know, if, if you don't know that about me already, just know I'm in. Love the UFC. There is, um, you hear it, leave it all in the ring, you know? And in if you ever watch this TV series, The Ultimate Fighter, there's this mm-hmm. quote over the door where you go into the Ultimate Fighter gym it says, never leave it in the hands of the judges. Okay? So if you want to have a kick-ass day, you got to leave it all in the ring. Never leave it up to the hands of the judges. If you, have to, if you don't know you had a kick-ass day at the end of the day, then you did not have a kick-ass day. Now you're leaving it up to the judges. You didn't finish the fight. Does that make, are you following me? Is that, um, what's, what am I looking for? Is that a fair analogy, Right? To just leave it all in the ring, leave it all in the octagon, leave it all on the field. <laughs> Whatever your favorite sport is, right? If you like football, right? You know it's a good – whether your team, if they um, – if your team, whether they won or lost the game, if they left it all out there, right? Technically, that, that's when it makes sense to me to say everyone's a winner. Right? Just because you showed up and played does not make you a winner. You left it all in the ring, you left it all in the octagon, you left it all in the field, left it all in the gym, you played full out. That's what that means. Just because you showed up and tried your best, that ain't, no. Does that make sense? You following me? Okay, so let me just review these one more time. Decide to have kick-ass days, two. Expect to have kick-ass days. Commit to it, okay? Third, make a difference in someone's life for the better. Do that every single day. Five, do it with confidence. Confidence and trust is built. It's not earned. And then play full out. Now check this out. I'm going to wrap this up with a quote from Hunter S. Thompson. If you don't know who he is, Google him because he's an interesting mutta. Are you ready? Here's your quote. You want to end your day like this. He's talking about life, okay? Somebody wants, you know what? I'm not going to drop that piece. I'm, I'm not. Someone said something to me once that in retrospect I think is cruel. True, but cruel, and I don't want to do that to you. Never mind. If you really want to know what it is, though, email me. Uh, David at GrantCardone.com, and I'll tell you what it is. But if you think of each day being, we only got one shot on this planet. You never know when it's going to all end, right? So you got to live each day as if it's your last, right? Okay, so here's the quote from Hunter S. Thompson to think with that. Life, turn this down a little bit. Life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in, broadside, in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. That's how you should end your day. Wow, what a ride. You can come back tomorrow and do it all over again. Right? Okay. That's your nooner. 
Thank you guys for being here. Appreciate your participation. Lydia, I love the fact that you're always popping in on my streams. Thank you so much. I love having you here. Uh, have a killer weekend. This has been episode 93 of The Nooner. I'm your host, David Bradley. Again, appreciate you being here. We'll see you guys on Monday. Be great, because nothing else pays. <laughs>